This club is full of Barneys. Let's get that Her butt's looking huge. You are crazy. Dude, look at how big she is. In, sister, in. Let's get hot and sweaty. Oh, feels really good in here. We didn't find any men at the club. <laughs> but who needs a man when you have a sauna and a hot roommate? In here. Look at how much we've drank of this. <laughs> you know what though? The sauna and the wine helps me relax. Wait, let's take a sexy sauna photo. Then. Okay. Oh, we're cute. So hot. That's a hot picture. I'm gonna put this on Twitter. Crystal, have you ever kissed a girl? <laughs> I never have. <laughs> really? Aubrey has this fascination of making everybody explore their sexuality in some way, shape, or form. How come? I like boys. Right, so do I, but you have to kiss a girl before you die. No, I'm all about boys. I like peanuts. It has nothing to do with liking boys or girls. You have to kiss a girl. You just have to. Just once in my life. Yeah, because how will you ever know that you prefer to kiss boys if you've never kissed a girl? And apparently, tonight it's my turn. You are really pushing this issue. I know, because I feel like you need to be kissed. I am standing right here, and you are going to kiss me. Oh my god. I'm doing a little research. Research on what? Sexual positions. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's called the linguini. He places one hand on your back to help support himself as he goes for the plunge. You should push on one of his knees between your legs. Whoa. What are these things? Tells you how hard it is? Oh my gosh. Dude, that would not work with my weave. It's amazing. I love this book. So I spoke with your publicist, and Perez Hilton wants to set up a meeting with you. Perez and his website have basically portrayed me as a hoe. He's taken certain aspects of my life and turned me into this character that's a hot mess. And... I've spent the past couple years having to defend constantly the reputation and persona that he's put forth about me. I just want to tell him how I feel for real, for real, and not be one of those celebrities that kisses his ass just to get publicity. So your publicist thinks that it would be good for you. I think it'd be probably good for you, too. I'd definitely be interested to find out if he really believes the things he says about me. I want him to come to my house, because I need to meet with him in an environment that I feel safe in. J-Dub. I feel like I'm talking to Charlie every time I talk to you. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> don't get mad at me now. What? I'm supposed to do a show this coming Saturday at a small club, a small, intimate club in West Hollywood, which is called Cherry Pop. We don't have that much time, but... Uh... So basically, you're giving me 72 hours to put together a three-song showcase of my new material that I've never performed live. Johnny, are you trying to see if I'm going to sink or swim, and then you're going to drop me if I sink? No way I'll drop you. Everything that I'm working on right now, the performances, the recording, all of that is for the bigger purpose of getting a record deal. Because if there's no record deal, there's no album, there's no career. Thanks, Johnny. All right. How do you feel about this? 
I mean, Saturday night is in 72 hours. Better start singing. <laughs> Let's sit down and have a little chit-chat somewhere. Okay. I know you guys are working on a show that's upcoming, so we gotta build her confidence as a, as a performer. Let's just strip this back to who people really know you to be, and let's let it be less about the tabloid and more about the talent. Yes. Quit talking about me. <laughs> just kidding. How could you talk about America's sweetheart? Really? How are you doing? What's up, Sexy? Hi. I see you came dressed for the occasion. So is this is just for rehearsal? <laughs> What's going on? God, I was just giving a little bit of a fall preview. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we've been kind of talking about your life and your career. Right. And the things, the next steps that we have to do. So we got to get this going. Hardcore. Enough said. Let's just get to it. OK. OK? When I'm on the dance floor, tell the DJ, give me more. Becoming a solo artist for me means starting all over again. That's a hard thing to do, mentally and physically. Oh, jeez. Do you see how you just did this? Even when marking, you got to train your body and mind to always think full out because you naturally go, do you know what I mean? Right. Six, seven, sing. Walking down a road of false suggestion. Give me another girl. Makes a feeling weak from love's corruption. I'll take you away. What's up, Jay? Gil, this is your song. Show me what you would do if you were the artist. That's exactly what I would do. But I would hit it harder. I, I think that's the point that I'm getting to. It's always, if you can get as aggressive as you possibly can with this, because you are, you are sexy. What you're going to wear is going to be sexy. But your movement has to be strong, so it counteracts actually what your image is, which gives you, it gives you your own look. And, and it says, I'm an artist. I don't want to see a tabloid reality star being a singer. I want to see an artist be an artist again. Are we back at this again? I have to say what I have to say. What are you doing? You want me to take a picture of you and Twitter it? We're all over the gossip site. It says we're lesbian lovers. 